Nearly 50 years ago, a group led by Dr. James Meredith walked from Memphis, Tennessee to Jackson, Mississippi to protest Jim Crow laws that prohibited many African Americans from voting. On April 7th, a walk against fear would take place to commemorate that journey. Hello, I'm Linda Ledeen and this is Tiger Talk. Today my guest is Ingrid Cruz. She, along with others, will be bringing the walk against fear to Jackson as a way to bring awareness to civil rights violations. Welcome, Ingrid. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. I, I wanted to just ask you uh, the basic question. Uh, tell us more about the Walk Against Fear and what the campaign is, is standing for. Well, um, I spoke to Dr. James Meredith because of a lot of the civil rights violations um, that are happening to immigrants in the state of Mississippi and in the South as a whole, especially with the anti-immigrant laws in Georgia and Alabama and South Carolina. Um, many you know, legislators want to bring those laws to Mississippi but then um, I spoke to my friend Patricio Gonzalez, who's undocumented, he's walking with me the whole way. And we actually decided that we want to confront racism, you know, head on and just kind of nip it in the bud because we feel that these anti-immigrant laws stem from the same racism that brought the segregation laws to the South before. And that's what we want to call out um, as far as this walk. Mr. James Meredith um, heard what we were going to do and he's been very supportive of us. Okay, so uh, Dr. Meredith, speaking of him, his walk took place nearly 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. What new issues do you hope to bring to light uh, almost five decades later? Well, basically, like, we want to bring together historically oppressed groups um, with the school to prison pipeline and um, things like voter ID. Even African Americans today are losing a lot of the civil rights that were gained during the civil rights movement of the 60s. So we want to unite, you know, minorities, um, mm -hmm. you know, the queer community and of course the immigrant community that is in the South now, which is fairly new, you know. Uh -huh. We want to unite and just show people that we basically have the same common enemy and that we basically have to unite if we really want to declare our rights as human beings together. Okay, so uh, is the walk going to target specific government agencies uh, pertaining to immigration laws? Well, more um, what we really want to do is actually reach out to communities, have people stand up for themselves and demand their human rights and make them know that it's okay to you know get out in the streets and demand your rights. Um, and then from there, we want communities to come up with their own solutions to these problems. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously we don't have all the answers, but if we put all of us together, we can come up with something that could change the way that things are run, um, not just in Mississippi, but hopefully change the dialogue across the country. So, like Dr. Meredith, you're, you're looking to hopefully make history also? Well, basically, yes. Okay. So, the walk is going to consist of documented and undocumented immigrants. Are you concerned about a police presence or a INS presence um, throughout the walk? We are, um, especially since I know that Governor Haley Barber pulled out of an agreement called 287G years ago, mm -hmm. but we also know that a lot of police uh, here across the state do kind of whatever they want with immigrants. They don't really have an understanding of what to do. However, we have gotten the Department of Justice involved. I let the Southern Poverty Law Center know that we're doing this. And then I have spoken to several um, nonprofit organizations with attorneys about what to do in case our civil rights are violated. And basically, we are going to train people on their rights. We have Know Your Rights cards that we're going to hand out to people and just make sure that they know their responsibilities. But we also know that if we stick to our responsibilities as pedestrians during this walk, there should be no problem. And if there is a problem, if we're sticking to the rules, then we know that we have justice on our side. So you do want to encourage those who are not documented that it is okay to participate if they would like to. Yes, and I do have four friends who walked from Miami to DC two years ago, three of them were openly undocumented and um, mostly things were fine with them. I mean, they had a couple skirmishes with hate groups, but nothing violent, no physical threats. And they actually went to ICE offices themselves and nothing happened to them. Okay, so for those who are uh, wanting to become more involved with the Walk Against Fear, give us the dates that it's gonna be taking place, uh, from what states, um, and also a number or an email that they can contact you at. Um, sure. So we're going to begin in Memphis on March 11, uh, which is a Sunday at 10 a.m. at the National Civil Rights Museum in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, normally they don't let people stand on the balcony where Martin Luther King was murdered, but we told them why we wanted to do that and they said we could. So we're going to stand on the exact spot where Dr. King was killed. 
and Dr. James Meredith has committed to being there and saying a few words um, to support us. And then from there, we're going to take Highway 51, which is what the original Walk Against Fear took. We're going to stop at communities along the way. Um, we want to stop at the University of Mississippi on March 20. And we want to stop in Greenwood in front of the Corrections Corporation of America prison there on March 27th. So, um, and then we end in Jackson at the Capitol on April 7th. However, mm -hmm. um, we're especially encouraging college students um, to be at Tougaloo College on April 6th. That's our last stop before Jackson. We want to give a okay. workshop at the chapel. So that's pretty much it. And then we do have a Facebook page, um, okay. facebook.com dash walk against fear 2012. And then that has all of our email, our Twitter um, is walk against fear, you know, all of that. So, okay, well, yeah. thank you so much, Ingrid. And I, I do wish you the best of luck on this walk. And I would like to just um, say thank you so much for helping me the fight. Yes, fear will take place in Jackson on April 7th. For more information concerning the Walk Against Fear, the contact information is on the screen below. I'm Linda Ledeen, and this has been Tiger Talk. Have a great day.